And I named this, Behold a Pale Horse, from uh, chapter 13 of the book of Revelations, the fourth horse, the fourth horseman of the apocalypse is the pale horse. And I looked, and behold a pale horse, and his name that sat upon him was Death, and hell followed with him, and power was given unto them over the fourth part of the earth, to kill with sword, and with hunger, and with the beasts of the earth. And that is taking place now today. The fourth horseman is riding across the world now. That's what AIDS is all about. That's what all these little brush fire wars all over the world are all about. That's what's happening. That's why cancer cures are suppressed. It's because they fully intend to kill a minimum of 2 billion people by the year 2000. AIDS is an invention of man. It is not a natural disease and it has been implemented and placed into the population as a population control. And when they did it, they had the cure before they did it. Mm -hmm. And when they deem that enough people have died or been killed, they will say, we have a cure for AIDS. And everybody will be called to report to some place to get an inoculation, which is going to do two things. One, it's going to stop AIDS in its tracks. And number two, it's going to implant a device which will be able to be used to track each individual person and maybe even to control those people. And that's what the pet implant program is all about. It's not about finding lost pets. They don't give a damn about pets and they would never put a satellite in orbit to find a lost pet, but yet there's a satellite up there that they're using to find pets that have been implanted with these devices. They're testing this program on pets that's going to be used in human beings. And in the Los Angeles Times in 1989, they ran an article. It was 10 forecasts for the coming decade, was the title of the article. I have a copy of it in my research center. And number five, I believe it was number five, uh, in those 10 forecasts for the coming decade was chemical or electronic implants to control individual behavior on a 24-hour basis, unquote. So it's not hidden at all. It's there for anybody who wants to look. But nobody's looking. Nobody's looking. Um, they believe, and I believe that they're right, that the, the biggest danger to mankind right now is man himself, population. Um, a study in 1957 told them that by 1990 the world population would double. In 33 years, can you imagine that? The world population of human beings doubled in 33 years? Mm -hmm. And they knew that it's an exponential doubling throughout history. Every time it's doubled, the interval has gotten shorter. So that was 33 years. The next doubling will take place in approximately 28 years. The next one after that, approximately 24 years. Can you imagine if the world population doubles again in 28 years from 1990? In other words, in the year 2018, the world population doubles? And we're having problems with food supplies and, and timber and clean water and clean air now and then after that it doubles again in another 24 years that's why they created AIDS because they didn't want to have to go around the world and say you you and you up against the wall you've got to die today and shoot them they did it in a manner to where they could target what they consider to be undesirable populations and I want it very clear that I don't agree with them on this um, they specifically targeted blacks, Hispanics, and homosexuals for complete eradication. And AIDS is really going through those populations, uh, and, and it's really doing a number of that blacks, theory, Hispanics, and homosexuals. That theory has made uh, news. I've heard that before, and, well, and this it's isn't been a debunked theory. very clear I, by the public saying, oh, that's ridiculous, but you're saying that well, that may indeed be the case. It's, it's not ridiculous. I actually saw this in documents, and oh, the project okay. name was Project Naomi, M.K. Naomi was the name of it. It was a CIA project, the AIDS, uh, AIDS, whatever causes AIDS, whatever that turns out to be, according to those documents, was developed at Fort Detrick, Maryland, under a CIA project called M.K. Naomi. Uh, it was financed by $10 million for the uh, Department of the Army's biological warfare uh, programs. It was carried out, uh, supervised by the CIA, carried out by scientists who worked for the Special Operations Division of the Department of Defense. Um, and uh, it's, 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 it's going, it's doing its job. <laughs>